In this video, we will continue with trigonometric identities. You will find this on page 188 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Another way to prove an identity is to simplify both sides to the same expression. Thus, manipulate both sides until the final expressions are the same on both sides. So you bring this left hand to an expression, the right hand to the same, and then you prove that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Let's look at an example. Prove the identity, and again, just because it becomes so small sometimes. Oh, I don't want to move it still. That was enough. I just want to move it. Okay, so prove this. And now let's start with the left hand side. So if I do this, I'm going to break it up into sin and cos, break it up into sin and cos. Make the denominators the same, multiply the reciprocal, then this scans. I end up with this. So, but look here, cos squared plus sin squared is always, I can show it there, but that becomes 1. So then it is cos squared, then oh, I don't even have to write that. I can just show you. That becomes 1. And that will be my final answer here. Then I take the right-hand side. Now, this is difference between two squares, but I put the square there so that it becomes 4. And then I make it two brackets, one with a plus, the other one with a minus. And then I'm going and I take uh, the square root. So it's this, the square root this, and I rewrite. And again, do you see again, this becomes 1. And again, I have this is the same as this. So the left, so this was the expression that both become. So the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Okay. Again, I'm just going to give you one. You can do more. It's very good. The more you practice, the easier it will become. Just number C. Stop the video. And as soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. Okay, number C. Oh, I just want to take all the yellow. Sec theta minus cos theta identity tan theta sin theta. Now, sometimes this is a bit challenging, but luckily I have a sec there. So let's start with the left-hand side. So take everything to sin and cos, it always works. Okay, but let's first write it, sec theta minus cos theta. Uh, and in this case, and I'm going to move it a little bit that I get it correct, I want to do both on the same side, just for explanation. You can do it under each other. The right hand side is tan theta, Sin theta. Okay, let's start. So sec, this, this one is going to be 1 over cos theta minus cos theta over 1. So I multiply, ooh, oh, I like to bring it red so that it's a little bit different. So I make the denominators the same. I'm still struggling with my color. Come on, come on. Multiply cos theta, multiply cos theta. I'm making the denominators the same. So I get 1 minus cos square theta. Remember that we put the square there, not there, over cos theta. Now, as soon as you see 1 minus cos square theta or 1 minus sin square theta, you know it's the opposite. It's both coming from this one. Uh, sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1, so as soon as I say, I take this one over, so sin square theta is 1 minus cos square theta. So, so 1 minus cos square theta, so this is going to be then sin square theta over cos theta. Okay, so let's go now. So as soon as you come to a point, you feel, okay, I think it's fine. 
Now work on the other side and see if you have to go further. But again, in this case, I think we're going to stop. So this, this is just sin theta over cos theta multiply sin theta over 1. And that's equal to sin squared theta, oh, this was easy, cos theta. And there I see, so therefore, so therefore, left hand side is equal to the right hand. Okay, so not always, but sometimes you can try, if you see the one side don't want to become the other side, then see if you can work and see if you can get the two sides equal. That's how you